a special night, and we've got the chance to visit right now with Major General Lee Taffanelli, who oversees so many soldiers, and uh, he is here tonight. I don't know if you've got a dry eye. We're having a hard time uh, with all the emotions here tonight, but General, it's good to have you here and so many of the families. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your role is. Well, you know, really is uh, the adjutant general for Kansas. Uh, I have the uh, command and control for the entire Kansas National Guard. So it's a tremendous honor for me to be here and really represent my counterpart in Missouri, Major General Steve Danner, who's the commanding general for the Missouri National Guard, which really makes up the 35th Infantry Division. And General, tonight we're live with the 35th Infantry Division. Can you tell us a little bit about what that division does and what they're currently doing uh, in Kuwait? Well, the 35th Infantry Division, as you heard, um, maybe heard earlier, uh, this is their 100th anniversary of the 35th Infantry Division, uh, and it really got its start in World War One, and uh, it's uh, been part of every uh, every conflict, and and really right now they're uh, deployed in the Middle East, providing command and control, and really making sure that we are uh, we are safe here at home, and uh, providing uh, really the necessary leadership. Uh, in the in the Middle East right now and we have that 35th infantry, infantry division watching tonight along with other thousands of other troops on the Armed Forces Network tell us about what an event like this can do for them and also for their families well you know this is really a fantastic opportunity for our families to be able to be here and there's a great number of families that are here to be able to watch the Royals live but there's a, a number of others that are maybe watching it from home and certainly those that are deployed around the globe that have an opportunity to watch us. But this is really a special opportunity, and our families are really so special. In fact, that they're the ones that, with really out, you know, their support, their dedication, really doesn't allow us to do what we need to do in the military. And I couldn't be any more proud of what the 35th Infantry Division and all the men and women that make up that division, and really all of our uh, deployed soldiers and airmen uh, that are really uh, out there uh, whether they're um, overseas or really they're here at home uh, helping maybe their neighbors that have been affected by uh, Hurricane uh, Harvey or Hurricane Irma. General, we had the chance to talk with some of those troops, some of those men and women over there via Skype off, off camera before we were on the air. A lot of Royals fans in there. It should be, if I'm doing the math right, about 2.39 in the morning. This wasn't difficult to get up for a Royals game, was it? No, based on my experience, whenever we have the opportunity to see our home team play, uh, it, it's amazing those that'll uh, stay up late to make sure that they uh, they watch that and that's just that connection back home and and that's, that's so very important when you're deployed overseas to have that connection and there's nothing like watching a watching a great baseball game when it's your home team yeah, it puts it in perspective for us just to be able to to provide that opportunity it's our honor to have you the families and all those folks in Kuwait here tonight thank you sir thank you all right